Hello everyone, my name is Heidi. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make, uh, how to cook spaghetti squash. So this is how it looks. Complete whole. And I have another one here that I already cut and I took off the seeds. And Spanish. Este les voy a enseñar cómo cocinar esta calabaza que se llama spaghetti squash. Y entonces van a necesitar una calabaza esta medianita, ya le quité las semillas. And you're going to be needing a cookie sheet. And here, I'm going to be adding one cup of water. Voy a echar una taza de agua aquí. And we're going to put the squash face down. Vamos a poner la calabaza así boca abajo. And we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour. Esta la voy a poner. Guys, I'm going to throw the water on my shoulder. Este, la voy a poner en el horno a 350 grados por una hora y después les voy a enseñar qué es lo que se hace después. Claro, si se la comen así, salida del horno va a estar fea. That's what we're going to... La vamos a guisar. If you eat it, like, right out of the oven like that, it's gonna... It doesn't taste too good. So that's what we're gonna season it. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so my squash is out of the oven. And it's soft already. Ya saqué la calabaza del horno y está suavecita. So it's still hot, so get a towel and put it on top. And then with a fork, we're going to start scraping it out. Hold on. Okay. And you're going to see how the... See? It comes out like spaghetti. That's why you want to use a fork and not a spoon so that you get the spaghetti strands well they won't cut they see the timer that's not of the food okay okay so I'm gonna finish doing this and I'm gonna let it cool for a little while and then we'll go on to the next step okay so next step for the spaghetti squash I have my hot pan here Ya tengo el sartén caliente and I am gonna add look how beautiful that looks I'm going to be adding first the onion, primero la cebolla, and that was like a fourth of an onion, era como un cuarto de cebolla, and here I have 10 chopped, chopped almonds, 10 almendras cortadas, so we're going to add that first, a little bit of oil, don't go crazy with the oil. Okay. I'm going to let that saute, que se sofría bien, hasta que las almendras estén así como tostaditas. Oh, it's on. <laughs> okay, um, here the almonds are already done, the onions, now I'm going to go ahead and add oops, green, where's the camera, there it is, okay. Green bell pepper, this is like half green bell pepper, medio chile morrón verde, un poquito de chile mor morrón rojo, que es nomás para la vista, and just a little bit of red bell peppers just to give it a nice look. Garlic, here I have like three, tres dientes de ajo, and some green olives, este olivas este verdes, you can use black olives, pueden usar negras, and add as much as you like. Of that, of the olives, I mean. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of oregano and one teaspoon of basil and salt to taste. Una cucharada de oregano, una cucharada de albahar y sal al gusto. Oh, that smells good. Okay. Last thing. Well, not last thing. Here I have a cup and a half of artichoke hearts that were marinated in oil. Tengo una taza y media de corazones de alcachofa. Que ya vienen marinados en aceite. That's why I said don't go crazy with the oil because this has oil already. 
Por eso les dije que no lo usaran tanto aceite porque esto ya también lleva aceite. Ok. Now, let me get the squash over here. Here's the squash. Aquí ya está la calabaza. I'm going to add that in. Give it a real nice mix. Lo revuelven bien. And you are going to let it cook for 10 minutes. Lo van a dejar que se cocine todo junto por 10 minutos para que la calabaza agarre su sabor de todo lo demás que le echaron. And then it's ready to serve. You can serve it hot. And I think cold will taste good too, but I've never tried it. So... And then garnish it when you serve garnish it with a little bit of parsley. So I'll show you a picture up next. Thanks for watching. Bye.